What's going on guys, CryptoHoy here with another quick update on Tomadaj and in this video I'm going to be covering and reacting to the Tomadaj December AMA update which was uh, uploaded or posted on their uh, YouTube channel like 20 hours ago which was yesterday and basically I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the good things and bad things about this update, uh, some things that I found that was very good from Tomadaj and also uh, the not so very good things of Tomadaj. And so let's start here with uh, just a, a small clip clip here. I'm not going to play the whole thing. You guys can watch it on, on their YouTube channel, of course, but I just want to highlight the main points. And one of them is that uh, I do agree that the one, one of the biggest news for Tomadodge, it was the release of Tomadodge Arcade. Well, it's not out yet, but the news was released in December, um, you know, that it was getting closer to the beta testing. And in fact, it's already here. You guys can actually go and apply. You guys can just click here and just fill out this form and it will have everything on here they, if you guys want to uh, apply and um, yeah, you'll have access to it and you'll be able to give them feedback, which I think is very great. They're going to be listening to the community and getting feedback and make those corrections. So overall, I think this is good. This is a good thing. I totally agree. Um, but here's the thing where I kind of um, have a little bit of, of a conflict here. Um, so, well, I wouldn't say a conflict. I, I, I would actually say that I agree with him. I just wish they would have done this from the beginning, that that would have been their focus. Okay. So right here, he mentions that, uh, that for at least Carl's, from his point of view, from his perspective, the play to earn aspect or element of this Tomadodge arcade, it is now on second place because he's more interested on the graphics, on the fun element of the game than on the money earning aspect of the game. Now, I don't blame him. I totally agree. Um, and let me just play that clip before I, I, I continue here. Entire arcade store, which I think is wicked because I'm, I, I love these sort of games. That was my era. And there's no games like this anymore, which I think are fun to play. And for me personally, I want, and we want a good game which can actually be played. Uh, for me, the play to earn is actually secondary. I want some really cool games that we can actually play and I can just sit there going, oh yeah, that's that's really cool. So we just heard from Carl that um, he's more, more uh, mostly focused or interested on the fun aspect of the game than the actual play to earn um, uh, element of the game, which I totally agree. He mentions that it is now in second place for him, the play to earn element of the game. and. Like I said earlier before, and not just with Tomadodge, but with many other pre-sale projects, I also believe that right now is not really the best time to combine cryptocurrency um, with uh, gaming simply because it doesn't work right now. Can it work in the future? I believe so it can, but it's kind of like ahead of its time right now. Why? Because of the conflicts of Google and, app, uh, and Apple App Store. They all want a piece of the pie. But I think there is a solution coming up all right, um, and I'll cover that in a separate video. Okay, I'm gonna talk about something that could that it could happen maybe next year or the following year that could actually help the crypto uh, gaming uh, projects community really, really, you know, help them out. But again, I'm not gonna cover that here. I'm gonna cover that in a separate video because I still have a little bit more research to do on my end because all the information is not out there fully. So, but again, I'll cover that in a separate video, but let's continue with the highlights of this AMA. The next thing he mentions is that the arcade games here, like this one right here, are not the game for which the pre-sale funds were raised for. And that, and you know, it's, it's pretty much true, it's obvious. Uh, because the main game is going to have better graphics. It's going to be a little bit more complex. And that's pretty much what he wanted to uh, make people aware of because people, are, you know, some investors might get confused and thinking, wait a minute, all the money from the pre-sale went for this uh, 2D game? No, the main uh, the funds from the pre-sale is actually going towards the big main game. Because remember, in the white paper and even in the, in the, in the website, they do make a distinguish between their main game and their uh, arcade game. So we have here the arcade game and we also have the Tomaverse, okay, which is going to be their main game. And uh, that one is going to be a play to earn, but they also made this Tomadodge arcade game a play to earn. And the good thing that I also agree with Carl is that, you know, having the fun aspect of the game is super important. And when you add the play to earn element to it, it kind of overrides the fun aspect of it. But if you make it optional, let's say that if you want to have uh, those, uh, not just investors, but just consumers, regular people that 
they don't care about their making money all they want is just to have fun maybe they're in, in commuting in the bus maybe they're you know just traveling they're you know on uber uh or whatever uh maybe they're on the break at work and they just want to have you know like some fun pastime just you know to kill some time what you could do with the game right um that's what mo most of these apps on the phones are really good for and the earning money part is just secondary and i you know and i already made a video about this that i think that was a great move and they're gonna be uh putting advertisements uh, on the on these games many people don't like them but it doesn't stop them from continuing playing the games and they can uh generate revenue and keep the game up afloat instead of just depending on those nfts and tomadot tokens to play i think doing it with ads makes it a little bit more sustainable compared to no ads and forcing the the players they pretty much have no option you have to buy an nft you have to put tokens um if you want to play i think that's a really really more strict um way of trying to make the game popular when if you offer a free version of it and kind of entice them to you know spend i think that's a better approach and in fact i mean we've seen this with a lot of games they let you play for free but you might get stuck in the level and and if you really like the game you're gonna be spending maybe a dollar two dollars and that can easily increase to five dollars ten dollars and you know a hundred dollars it's all about breaking the ice so there's a little bit of game all right for for you guys there but anyways let's continue here um he also mentions here um, that the arcade game is extra. So pretty much saying that this Tomodachi arcade game, it was like just an extra, uh, you know, part com uh, while they're working on the main game. So let's listen to that clip here real quick. It's quite nice. So um, first thing with that as well, uh, big reminder, these arcade games are not the arcade games which we raised the money for, right? This is absolutely extra, and this is why we decided to try do the whole Tamaverse idea. Um, now, so there you go. Like I mentioned before, okay. So he mentions that the money that was raised for the pre-sale, it it wasn't for this arcade games. It was raised, or those funds are gonna be used for the main game. That's what they're. That's actually what they're working on right now. And this arcade game is just extra. So if I were to put this in a nutshell, pretty much this arcade game, the Tomodachi arcade game, is the appetizer, and then the main course is going to be the main game, which is a play to earn with better graphics. Uh, it's not going to be like 2D. So that's pretty much what is happening here. Another analogy is kind of like uh, in a boxing match or UFC match, you have the main event. Which, which happens towards the end but prior to that you have smaller events okay you have smaller things that happens before the the big one the main one which is the reason why everyone is there in the first place hopefully this analogy is able to help you kind of understand what their tactic and strategy is with tomodachi right now and i honestly don't think it's a bad idea this way what's going to happen is that people are not going to complain they're not going to say oh tomodachi never fulfilled anything they never did anything no they are they're giving you something a uh, a game kind of like an appetizer game while they're working on the main one and that way there you'll be um sorry they're also going to be able to get some feedback from uh right here because you can also apply for the beta testing this way they're going to be getting ideas to prepare for the next game and apply them over there as well so i believe at the end it's like a win-win for both for devs and consumers or investors and hopefully this can grow and actually be very successful but now let's move on to the next thing which is the merch now regarding the merch store there's really nothing new in the merch store but i do want to kind of point out something uh which i think again is a positive thing for tomadaj so right here he mentions that when you buy okay when you go here to their uh website which by the way you just go to their website and you click on merch up here and it'll take you to the merch store whenever you're going to be you're going to be making a purchase uh let's say if i click uh let's say this one right here and you just choose your color your size and your color and you add to the cart uh, when you're actually going to pay although you see this uh the the currency which is fiat 59 of, uh, with 40 cents or let's say 60 dollars or whatever the price is when you actually are going to check out you're not going to pay in dollars or euros or pounds or anything like that you know you're go you're actually going to be paying with cryptocurrency and that's for everything that's for you know the shipping you know the subtotal the taxes or anything everything that you're going to be paying for is going to be 
um, in cryptocurrency. And um, now, when, after you fill out everything here, um, it's going to ask you to connect your wallet. And then right here, it says currencies will be available here after connecting your wallet. It says currency. So I'm guessing like it's plural. It might provide you multiple currencies that you can choose from. But uh, I haven't tried it out for myself yet. But based on what Carl said here is that when you connect your wallet, you're going to be using Tomadodge. So I'm not sure if it's only going to allow you to check out with Tomadodge or you can also use Ethereum. But uh, what he mentions that after you make your purchase, the profits of that merch is going to be used for two things. The first one is going to be used for the buyback. So they're going to be buying back from those profits and they'll be buying back. And the second one is using it for marketing. So, but this is only possible with the Tomadodge token. If you make the purchase with Tomadodge token. So my guess, um, and based on what he said here in this video is that you're probably like 99% almost sure that you only, you're only going to be able to check out with Tomadodge token and probably is not going to allow you to check out with any other currency or cryptocurrency, whether that's Ethereum or Polygon or um, anything else in the Ethereum network, or maybe even BNB, I'm not sure. Um, but for, I think it becomes more beneficial if you use Tomadodge because that way they're going to be able to um, buy back the tokens and also use the profits, part, the other part of the of the profits of the merch to, you know, for marketing. So I think that's, that's a good thing. That's a, a positive thing for the investors and the team, the project, the devs, and everyone involved with Tomadodge. Now from here, he doesn't really talk much. He talks a little bit more about the arcade and then he kind of answers some questions and then he kind of talks about uh, the the crypto cards and then OKX on the exchanges and but he does kind of go here and kind of talk about this which is their Tomadodge giveaway and um, that's what I kind of want to end the video here about talking about the giveaway um, of course in the making of his video and there was four days left but with mine there's three days left and they're gonna be doing this giveaway pretty soon and he mentions that probably there might not be another giveaway in the future and or perhaps they might do a smaller one but he's not even sure they might or might not but um for right now i think they just they're going to be concluding this one which is the one they have on hand and in just in three days so there you go guys that's pretty much the main updates here for tomadodge share your thoughts what do you guys think about all of this um what do you guys think about the merch about just using tomadodge and them using the profits for buybacks and for marketing what do you guys think about also um the uh, beta for the arcade game, the beta, what do you guys think about all of that? Are you guys gonna be applying also for the beta to kind of check it out and play um, here? Um, it looks like it's a very simple application Then it doesn't really ask you much and you just fill it out. Um, and overall, are you guys happy with the project, with the decision-making of Tomadodge devs or not? Yeah, share your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to learn my pre-sale trading strategy for 2023 completely free, okay, this is not a course or anything like that. I'm not selling you anything. I just, I'm just sharing you guys my, my strategy, how I mitigate loss. Check out this video right here. And again, I appreciate all of your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.